It's Friday morning at a diner in New Jersey. So we're just one happy family here. And customers can't help but notice that something startling is being served along with the coffee and eggs. Sexual harassment. I think maybe I ought to pull your hair back a little bit. The hostess clearly cringes at her manager's crude advances. Extreme behavior, perhaps. But women who work in the restaurant business say it happens more often than you think. You've got to loosen up a little bit. Because if your hair is back like that, they can see you. What no one knows is that the reluctant hostess, Jennifer, and her creepy boss are both actors, and our hidden cameras are rolling. You know, it's our new uh, hostess, first day on the job, she's helping. Jen, say hi to the camera. Hi, I'm Jen. <laughs> she's helping. <laughs> but her boss won't take the hint. Instead, Can you get that, please? he tricks Jen wow, into bending over. Look at this. Very nice. That's enough for these businessmen. Can we move or can we? Well, what's wrong with this table here? You. Not only you make her uncomfortable, you're making us uncomfortable. Oh, she doesn't mind that. You know, just a guy's thing. When the manager disappears, the businessmen rally around Jennifer. Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. It's just... It's not fine. God, you seriously don't have a full of a I know. Clemente Gutierrez even offers the hostess a generous way out. You want a job, come to my office. Seriously. This is ridiculous. As the businessman writes down his office telephone number, Jennifer confides she needs to stay. Since it's my first day, I just can't leave, like, right in the middle. You can leave. Yeah, yeah. He's absolutely. Being absolutely inappropriate. You're, you can leave. Leave right now. You got a job right now. I'll pay you for the day. And leave right now. Nice guy. But too often, women have to deal with harassment on their own. And very few of them report unwanted sexual attention at work, afraid of losing a job or confronting a boss like this one. With a crowd of new customers, he gears up again. God, you smell good. While the entire dining room watches, this man seems conflicted about what to do. What in the world is he thinking? After almost 30 minutes, he's on his feet. I don't think you have any right to treat her the way you're treating her. What, what, what the way you're talking you? to her, the way you're treating her, the way you're touching her, the way you're looking at her, the way you're yelling at her. Uh, how's that for a beginning list of problems? J.C. Speck told us later why it took him so long to react. If you stand up to this guy and you say something, what's that going to do to her? Yes. You don't know how desperate she needed this particular job. It's, it's a dilemma. It is a dilemma, but there's a breaking point. There's a line that gets crossed, and I felt the line got crossed at that point. It's great to see, to see men who are willing to, to stand up and do what's right. Raquel Bergen, a professor at St. Joseph's University, studies aggression against women. And she says there's a reason men stand up for Jennifer. If you look frail, if you look vulnerable, if you look weak, then maybe men are more likely to step in and treat you like that daughter figure and feel like you need protection. Back in the restaurant, what's that creepy manager up to now? Is that a lingerie catalog? Victoria's Secret, all the girls want to go there. And if you're really good, I may get you something for Christmas. She's noticing everything, they're going red, you see? Inside our nearby control van, we're monitoring the reactions. This is 20-year-old Lauren Piper with her friend, Elizabeth Barry. You're a pretty girl, they want to look at you, that's why I hired you. And they can't believe their eyes. Lauren whispers to a waitress. <laughs> Touching her and she's like, please, please. Really? Yeah. And we're like, <laughs> Like in front of everybody? Yes. Like, we're just like, Hey, how are you guys doing? While they're clearly paralyzed, this man from a nearby table does speak up. You can lose the job and you can get in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. This is sexual harassment. Why did the young women keep quiet? I was like, kind of scared. Why not come to her rescue? Well, I don't know. I guess we, I didn't really know what to do. In fact, many young women who witnessed the manager's repulsive behavior don't know what to do. 
I think the most important thing you can do for the person who's being victimized is to try to help them with whatever it is that they need, whether it's just a shoulder or if it's to encourage them to report it. But will anyone report it when we run the scenario with a different actress? You guys having a good day? Someone who dresses to kill. Ashley Carpenter wears a body-hugging red dress that catches everyone's eye, including that sleazy manager's. You look just like her. Stop. Stop. It's Stop. Right. No. Same blonde hair, same body. No, no. She tries to push him away, but he's relentless. And this diner seems to think it's okay. Just remember one thing. Meanwhile, from our control room, we tell the actor to ramp it up. I'm going to take away a shift if you don't start smiling, okay? And yet these folks seem more bothered by her dress than by the manager's threatening come-ons. What caught our eye was her outfit. Oh, wow. It was a little much, you know, like just too tight. We thought it was inappropriate. I said that. I said she was asking for it. What if she covers up with a sweater? Will that make a difference? We want to get the crumbs off the boots, okay? Hey, hey. What? Oh. I'm just being a little really playful. Cool. Lighten up. No. You have to lighten up. Don't touch. You have to Don't touch. He uses one ploy after another to close in. Straighten out my tie. I'm the manager. This is part of your job. This is not part of my job? Yes, it is. He paws at her, follows her, and yet most people simply watch. Do you see? Yeah. Listen, what about this guy? He seems to offer help. He has no right yeah. to touch in your body. And if he has a problem, tell him to come over here. I'll straighten him out. But watch what happens 30 seconds later. Is everything okay here? Everything okay? Yes? Okay, great. Thank you. He tells us he was going to complain about the manager later. Other men say it's not their fault they didn't speak up. She wouldn't. She wouldn't let me. We were saying, no, let it go, let it go. The you women know. were saying, let it go. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't my daughter. <laughs> my wife told me not to say anything. She shouldn't be dressed in that way. I mean, it's a come on for, for men. They were almost uh, blaming the woman herself. Yes. We have this very judgmental culture. That understanding that I wouldn't put myself in that situation. I wouldn't dress like that. And in some ways, that makes us feel safe as women. But as we're about to find out, other women don't care about feeling safe. They won't tolerate creeps, no matter what. This is our first night here. Is everything going okay? It'd be a lot better if you kept your hands off her, though. I can tell well, you that. That's not normal. This woman didn't think twice about getting involved. How rude can you be? Why do you keep touching her? What's wrong with you? Do you realize how inappropriate your behavior is right now? Other diners actually okay, applaud. Go do something about somewhere else. Don't do it. Are you crazy? Oh, and I don't think you should go. No, I really think you should go because you're just a disgusting person. I think everyone that has some type of heart should get out of here because that's ridiculous. And they have some advice to the people who witness sexual harassment and its victims. You don't know her. It doesn't matter. If, if that was happening to me, I would expect someone to get up and say something if I couldn't.